You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? Business with Marshall is less lucrative than it used to be. I was hoping your bosses would be interested in a new partnership. They're in there. I'd knock if I were you. Hello? It's Antonio Espina. <clears throat> Look, I, I know that we don't have the best history, but I was thinking, hoping, really, that we could work something out.
Patrick came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. Hello, and welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. We know it wasn't easy getting here. Your journey began with one of the most unforgiving job interviews we could devise. But you did more than just survive a few live fire exercises. You excelled, and in doing so, proved that you were Marshall material. But don't take my word for it. Hear it from the man himself. Hello, I'm Atticus Marshall. And I wanted to personally welcome you to the Marshall family. Here at MDI, we don't just make a profit. We make the world a better place. So how do we do that? With a little TLC. Technologically advanced weapons, loose morals, and a culture of conflict. Now let's take a step through each of those letters. Why are you watching that now? It's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. If you weren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Yours should have treated you worse. All right! Ladies and gentlemen, contrary to your colleague's demeanor, this is no laughing matter. The Nawali already took out one team that was sent to bring him in, and I want as many of us going home as possible. So stick to the plan, work together, and let's grab that son of a bitch and send him to the frontier. Let's get paid. Team, go! First day on the job, fuck up. Noobie, catch up! Right, let's kick some holy shit! Turrets, take cover! Yeah. That was close. Uh. 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 Jesus Christ, it's my first fucking day! Shit! Anybody left? Me, I think. We have to rendezvous with Bravo team or we're dead. Keep pushing forward. I'll meet you there. Copy that. Welcome to the daily grind. Oh. Keep pushing forward. Hot out here.
Shit, that helps. Hey, you! We gotta find... Fuck! Better hustle, newbie! Bravo team is ready to move in! I'm not exactly taking a coffee break here. Marshal scum! Oh, bite me! Newbie, you still alive? You sound like you lost the pool. Fall in! We'll use this APC for cover. A rolling shield. Nice. Now I'm delighted you approve. Bailey, make a hole. Roger that. Now let's go! Through the breach. Go, go, go! One town. Keep it up, team. Let them have it. Yeah! You guys fucked with the wrong multinational private military corporation! Hey, this may be a weird time to ask, but do we get hazard pay? You get a performance bonus for outstanding work, if you survive to collect it. Got it. Just trying to understand the pay structure. We don't have time to argue. Ruby, they got the RPG up top. Damn it, I said take out the RPG. You see? Told you I was good with these. Just shut up and shoot. Can you hear me? Anybody? Shit. Either they're all dead or there's no signal. Guess I should push on and find the Nawali myself. Start praying! Eliminate the intruder! Things we do for rent. And the Wally wants them all dead. How did Marshall get this far? Don't have to wear a suit. Oh, Finally, end of the tunnel. Gwen! Hello? Do you read me? Newbie, you're still alive? Yeah, I hear that a lot. The Wally's holed up in the saloon up ahead. Rendezvous with the rest of us and we can box him in. In a minute. Gonna clear out some goons first. I gave you an order. It's on my way. Besides, we don't want him coming up behind us later. Fine. But next time I give an order, the only words I want to hear are yes and ma'am. 
Got that? Uh, yes, ma'am. Guess you assholes are just working stiff too, huh? Feels good to make an honest living. Gotta earn that performance bonus. Little C4 should take out that barricade. Ha! <laughs> Didn't do that at my last job. Glad you could join us. Let's move. We gotta keep the Nawali hold up until Charlie team arrives. Newbie, once we hit the saloon, you flank left while the rest of us hold the center. Flank? But I can... Yes, ma'am. Saloon's right around this bend. Get ready and remember the plan. All right, team. Let's take it. Oh! Hey. See? I'm flanking left, as ordered. Yeah, that's probably because of my flanking. Uh-huh. Now get in there and flush that son of a bitch out. Yes, ma'am. Will that add to my performance bonus? Go! What does it take for a man to be able to enjoy a quiet drink these days? Mr. Nawali, you're coming with me. You really think you have what it takes to bring me in? I mean... Yeah? Hey! Where are you fucking going? I said you're coming with me! Perhaps I don't respect your authority. Then respect this. You set one foot on those stairs. Holy shit! No, you goddamn don't. Give it up, Nawali! There's nowhere to hide! You're surrounded! Make it easy on yourself! What the... I can't find him! Never mind. Get back here and regroup. We've got the bastard bottled up with nowhere to run. We know he's in the saloon. He can't stay in there forever. Ugh. 
What the fuck? Thanks for the ride. I'll see you around. We need air support now. Stand down. We don't got time for hero bullshit. Don't worry. Got this. Got a problem. Hang on, the cavalry's coming. Come out with your hands up. <laughs> Not today. Oh, fuck. Gwen, hurry. We barely get a beat on these guys. No, oh, if only someone had told you to stand the fuck down. Oh. Had enough? Oh. Brains. You're goddamn right I do. You're too predictable. Am I? You that. Get your hands in the air. I caught him. Thank you. 
Well, you didn't die. All in all, not a bad start. Jesus Christ! You're not gonna last. Your pep talks need some work. This is for you. Performance bonus. Is this a joke? You, uh, you ribbing the rookie? What were you expecting? There's supposed to be a bonus based on exceptional performance. That's right. And if you had performed exceptionally, you would have seen a bonus. Oh, come on. Can you really look me in the eyes and say I didn't do well? I can look you in the eyes and say you didn't do what you were told. I saw a better way and I took it. And if you were in charge, it would have been an inspired decision. But you're not. I am. This is a warning. Fall in line or find a new job. Fall in line? Fuck. Okay. Fucking fuck. Okay, so let's start with Fuck, fuck, fuck it, fuck. Balls on a stick with a side order, a mother loving shit smothered, piss covered ass crack! Fall in line. Hey, uh, it's Kev. I'm baking up a slamming congratulatory brunch for when you get home to celebrate your first day on the job. It's gonna be dope. Oh, and it's official. I'm gonna be spinning at that idols party I told you about, so hope you can come. TTYL. Hey there, it's Nina. So excited about your new gig. I thought you'd want to know. I, I heard back from the museum. Uh, they, they went with someone else for the junior art curator job, so... Looks like I'm still stuck with Los Panteros. Anyway, I'm glad one of us had a good day at least. See you soon. Hey, it's Eli. Congrats on your first day as part of the workforce. Speaking of which, um, when you asked to borrow my copy of Be Your Own Boss, I assumed it was because you wanted to read it, not to level out the coffee table. So let's talk about that when you get back. Can't wait to hear about all the HR forms I'm sure you had to sign. Oh, I 
Everything smells amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you gonna help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay, I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Nina? Um, good for 10? Who helped you move your forged paintings last month? Fine, 15. W what sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? Uh, presumably one that makes fucking waffles? Hey! <laughs> hey, the wave slave is back! How was your first day? Were the other mercenaries nice to you? You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give them a seven. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how's the job? Eh, it's the murder business. The fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. Uh, I can tell you love it. <laughs> okay. I don't have to love it, I have to pay my student loans. Poof. I'm in. So, I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Uh, it's supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? I uh, played a little fast and loose on the job, and, uh... Oh, my CEO wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. And I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. You just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Come on, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm-mm. Mm, no, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, <laughs> <please>. <laughs> <laughs>Okay, brunch is done, dishes are clean. Let's go rob a payday loan place. And you know how we should celebrate afterwards. Karaoke! Yes! So, Nina, are we taking your project car? Fuck no, I'm not risking my baby over rent. We're boosting cars from down the street. Ooh, can we take a hybrid? Eli. I love that you're worried about fuel efficiency, but I'm thinking acceleration is gonna matter more. Your carbon footprint always matters. Just take that yellow one. Kev, you case the place. What are we looking at? One guard out front and the owner at the till. He's a real scuzzbag. I want some kick a dog. So, you know, fuck that guy. What's there? But Let's only get you can decide oh, how you no, react not to this crap again. Only hey, you can what's choose the rule? to adapt Don't to the someone's young. that life throws your way. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to know. But to realize that power, there's something you need to do. You need to be your own boss of your job, of your happiness, of your life. Be your own boss. That's right, be your own boss. One of these days, I'm gonna get you to listen to music in the car. Roger McGillicuddy speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people and I'm not gonna be one of them. You got one of those for me? You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded... Yeah, okay, I don't need a gun. Good call. Showtime. So I made them watch while I broke their dad's... Oh, shit. Walk away, or the phrase dead-end job gets literal. <laughs> I, 
I don't have much. We don't want your money, just his. Get out of here. You done fucked up. I've been getting that a lot lately. Where's the safe? If you're lucky, the cops will get to you before. <laughs> Nice left. Been practicing. I can tell. Safe's back here. This guy had his password be a bunch of fives. Pick it up, Eli. I'm just saying, he could have at least made his work for it. Same plan as last time. Eli, Kev, pretend traffic laws matter and get the money home. Nina and I will split up and give the cops the runaround. Cool, let me get the McGilligan. No! Try to keep up this time. Yeah, yeah. See you at the switch. <laughs> Time to beat it before the cops show up. Life is full of adversity and challenges. But oh, fuck no. I'm monitoring the police scanner. They're just responding to the call. Cops are now en route to the payday place. Sounds like they're out in force. Guys, I got cops on my ass. Nina, don't wait for me. I gotta lose these guys. Try sideswiping them. It always works for me. Just let them get alongside you, and then bam, send them into a ditch. Ah, going too slow. Try to hit their whole side, not just the bumper. Need speed for a good side swipe. Not going fast enough to do any damage. You'll do more damage the faster you go. Gotta speed up. Took care of him. How's everyone else? Eli and I made it home with the money. You ready for karaoke? Start warming up those voices. Nina, where you at? Just changed cars and headed home. Good. Headed to my switch car now. It was safe and sound at the junkyard a minute ago. That's pretty deep in Pantero's territory. Did you tell your gang you did that? Are you kidding me? If Sergio knew we were running a job on his turf, he would have taken a 90% cut. 90%? Good God, the man's either a monster or a capitalist genius. What? 
the fuck did you assholes do to my getaway car? Ain't your car if it's on our turf. Now you're gonna pay for parking. We're taking you down! The things I do to pay my rent. No one pulls a job here without Sergio. I needed that fucking car! Don't have time for this shit today! Problem. Los Panteros scrapped my switch car. They what? Bigger problem. The police picked up that firefight at the junkyard. They're heading your way. Grab a bike and head off-road. I'll pick you up in the desert. Damn. Sounds like no karaoke tonight. Every fucking time, man. I'm on my way. There's a trail that goes between the mesas. I'll meet you on the other side. Got it. Do I want to know what happened to the Panteros who stripped your car? Sorry, Nina. Self-defense. Fuck, I didn't want that to happen. Let's hope Sergio never finds out it was us. You free and clear yet? Not at all. I've got cops up the ass. Get to the county line. I'll pick you up on the other side of the bridge. Well, shit. Freeze! Down on the ground! You said you didn't want to risk your car. I said I didn't want to risk it for rent. I'd risk anything for you, dummies. So, is this how it's gonna be every time we have to pay rent? I thought that went great. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go back to running my old side hustles for extra cash? Don't worry. We'll figure it out. This town is full of opportunities. If you know where to look.
Hey, glad you made it home safe. We have to get better at this rent thing, or we'll never get to do karaoke again. Also, we'll get evicted. Nina said you might go back to some of your old side hustles. I have some friends who might need work done in your area of expertise. When you say friends, do you mean friends friends or special friends? All my friends are special. I'll put their info on your map. I think you'll really like them. All I can find as long as their money's good. Thanks, Kev. Bet I can make an HGH bus right now. Newbie, I've assigned you a driver for your next job. Meet us at the rendezvous. I'll be right there. Thank you. I'm calling the cops. Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. I don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear? No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No, then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Marshall. Hey there. Name's JR. We about to see some action? Nope. 
Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No, my friends are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I can't afford to screw it up. Don't engage, just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just dropped something. We're gonna just let him shoot at us? Gwen was very clear on not engaging. We don't do something? All we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine. Just this once. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. Okay, back on track. From here on out, observe and report. Fuck, they have a turret. Can't take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow them. No can do, unless you want to take that thing out. I, uh, damn it, get in closer. Wait, what are you doing? Taking out the turret. From the roof? No, from the truck, get me closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a maverick. A little bit, I said a little bit. Heads up! You got more incoming! Oh, come on! I was almost done! Ah, as long as I'm here. Doobie, why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? When? Well, there were motorcycles and then a turret and one thing led to another. Well, that... You don't sound mad. Did you honestly think I would send one car after a convoy that size? You're just a distraction. We got a drone following these motherfuckers. Wait, you use me as bait. That's a job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of there. JR, pick me up. I can't get close. That truck's on fire. Shit. Get your ass out of there. I can't help you. Fuck, the car's on fire. This one's burning, too! I thought I ordered you to retreat. Honest to God, I am trying. Well, as distractions go, you're exceeding expectations. Great. Can you put that in my performance review? Oh! What are you doing here? Definitely retreating. Over here, jump. Finally, let's follow orders and fall back. Yes, 
Sergio. Don't fall back. Don't fall back. Mother fuck. You try to lose him, I'll keep him off our asses. Marshal needs to stay the fuck out of my business. He's charging us! Shoot him! Shoot him! You think you can take my shit? He's coming again! Push him back! Nobody steals from Sergio! He's rolling up my six! Off, asshole. I see a way out. Keep your head down. It's gonna be tight. Uh, uh, you think that guy's compensating for something? Don't count him out. It'll take more than a car wreck to kill that son bitch. Okay, time to finally get the fuck out of what is that? Sandstorm. We're going in. Come in, newbie. When we hear you, we're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need... Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck, really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops, then radio... JR, let's get him. Kid gloves are off. The kid gloves are on? Oh. 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 Ah. I can barely see him. Go. Oh. I see the main convoy ahead. Uh, we got a problem here. Be more specific? Sand's clogging up my intake. We're losing speed. Great, just get me into jumping range, then fall back. That's suicide. I got us this far, didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. Shit, turrets! Or I will shoot you in the fucking face. This performance bonus better be huge. Where's my rear guard? Exceeding expectations. said to do what I need. End of the line, motherfucker. You're about to get stumped. You're, You're dead. Mierda. Oh. Ah. 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 
is dead now! That's what you get for smuggling antiquities! Hey Gwen, I followed the convoy. It uh it stopped. You did good. Holy shit a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. here now Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the hummingbird codex if that was something in the truck then yes impressive work I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR sir team player I like that there's someone I'd like you to meet this is dr. Antonio Espina he's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso it's nice to meet you sir the retrieval of these relics is no small feat the museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no, I, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. <laughs> 